friends, how are you today? I hope you're not tired of the DIYs, because this is another one. This week we're making a 90s inspired vinyl backpack in the shape of an alien face with a jelly alien face right in the front. Yaha! So this is going to be a long tutorial, so let's not kill any more words and jump right into it. Step number one, just like most DIYs, you need to make a pattern of the shape you want to give to your backpack. I chose an alien face because I was browsing through Tumblr that day and I got carried away. But you can choose whatever you want, preferably something simple. Take a piece of cardboard, fold it in the middle, yada yada. And because I'll be using a zipper for closure, I made sure to make the top part big enough for it. Uh, don't forget to leave room for seam allowances, cut it out, and you got yourself a pattern. Moving on, let's transfer it to the clear vinyl material. I didn't go for the thickest variety, but I think since it's for a bag, maybe I should have picked something a bit more durable. Oh, and we need two alien heads, a front and a back. Keep those aside and let's work on the opening. Grab two pieces with a straight edge, measure how long it needs to be and sew them on both sides of the zipper in a manner so the zipper is tucked under. No need to cover the unfinished edges cause this fabric doesn't fray. But here are a few tips when working with water resistant fabrics. Use a white stitch to eliminate the number of holes. A very tight stitch may operate as an easy to tear notebook page line. These types of fabrics do not like being stitched more than once in any given spot, so back stitching is not really an option. Leave yourself some long tails on your threads at the end of each stitch so you can tie them into knots to lock them in place. When you have the zipper ready, measure the alien head to see how much more you need to cover it all around. Cut a long strip and attach it to the one with the zipper. For this one I actually put good sides together and then did a top stitch, only because I think it looks better. Run your measuring tape along the strip to make sure it's the same width all over, and you may need to trim it a little. Without using any pins, sew the side strip to the front. Make sure to have the zipper facing down so you can turn it inside out later. And go slow. I found it super easier to have the curvy piece on top. When you reach the part where the two ends need to be joined, fold the one backwards, let the other one cover it and sew them in place. And now you have something that looks like a baby's plastic water pool. Cut four square pieces, fold them in half, stitch them, open and press them flat so the seam line is underneath. And these are our loops for the straps of the backpack. Use bobby pins to keep them in place and put tiny marks on the back alien head indicating where these are supposed to go, like I'm doing here. Lastly, so close the whole thing, again go slowly and make sure to go through all the layers and turn it inside out. This is not so easy, just saying. Now that we have our backpack ready, let's go ahead and make the jelly alien face. Cut out the same shape but smaller or, you know, do something else. Do a heart or whatever. This guy's named Vanilio, by the way. I drew the eyes using puffy paint, and let me tell you, this stuff stayed on like it had nowhere to go. Decide where on the bag you want to place it, put glue around the edge and glue it on. But take notice, not just any glue will do. Companies who make these have machines to heat up and fuse the vinyl together. Or what I believe to be true is that they use magic. I ended up using epoxy which comes in two compartments that you have to mix. And you have to run your fingers through to get rid of all the air bubbles. The smallest amount of air can ruin it. 
I actually went back with a toothpick to fill in any small gaps. Don't forget to leave a 2 inch gap so you can fill it with soap. Yep, soap, it works. I made a cone with some vinyl to pour it in because this is important. You don't want to let the soap touch where the glue is going to go because those two don't get along. I know. Finally, uh, glue the gap shut and you're done. Oh, and I outlined the alien face with some puffy paint, but this is optional. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are thinking of making a bag like this or something similar with jelly inside, please share your agony while making it with me. Or if you post it anywhere on social media, get the hashtag SailorDIY so I can see it. Or post it on my Facebook page. All the links to my social media will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. I mean, what are you waiting for? We do lots of DIYs beauty related videos, fashion, tags, and sometimes I post videos that make absolutely no sense, but what can we do? Life makes no sense sometimes. So I'll see you real soon, take care, take extra care now and put a lot of sunscreen because the sun, the sun is evil. And uh, thank you so much for watching, bye!